Hey everyone, welcome back. This is episode 22 of Wolf's Match Tech Mod Pack. Uh, what I would like to do today is I want to get some more machines. Uh, I have a ton of power now, thanks to the reactor in the basement, and I want to start utilizing some of it. Uh, I know that on the list of stuff, the basic AE system for storage is listed next on there, but this is actually working alright for right now, because I've got so much iron I was able to upgrade most of these chests to iron, and honestly I could probably do the other ones as well. So, for right now, I have an okay storage system. Obviously I'm not, you know, completely satisfied with it, but um, for the moment, it works okay. Uh, so I'm going to upgrade this one. This really doesn't need an upgrade actually, to be honest. So I will just put that in there, uh, somewhere, store it somewhere, I don't even know. So uh, if you looked in here, you probably noticed I have a bunch of sand, a bunch of clay, and I have a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory. Uh, basically what I did for just a little while ago was I ran off and I just gathered a whole bunch of resources. The reason why is because I want to make those machines. I need a ton of glass, I need some bricks uh, for... Uh, actual brick blocks for some of the machines. There we go. I think that will get me two furnaces. So we'll find out. Uh, the other reason why I have these in my inventory here is because I want to make a Tinker's Construct Smeltery. Uh, it's very very easy to make. I usually prefer this method to make the smeltery grout. Uh, there we go. I know I'm gonna need a boatload of this because I never ever start small with smelteries. So I'm just going to make four stat, uh, stacks of it right off here. Let's see. That's going to do 40. So, okay, so we'll let it go for a little while. We'll put another stack in here. We'll put another thing in there. Uh, so yeah, so what I want, the reason why I want to get the smeltery started, because normally, all right, smeltery, whatever. I have a very specific reason. I need to get nether brick for a magma crucible. I also just want to go to the nether because there's tons of awesome ores there that metallurgy adds uh, that are really strong, make really nice weapons, really nice armor, great tools that last for a really long time, very enchantable. Um, I want an enchanting table. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that I want to get from the nether. Not to mention I need glowstone, uh, I want to make energized glowstone so that I can make these item conduits fast which of course I need a magma crucible for. So I need a whole bunch of stuff from the nether. I need nether quartz uh, to actually start any of the AE system stuff, uh, which means I need another portal, which means I need obsidian, which means I basically need some way to get said obsidian. Uh, so basically there's only one of two ways really right now that's available to me immediately or somewhat immediately. The first is to make a diamond pickaxe. I do have enough to do that. However, I also know that I need the diamonds for the advanced processors uh, if I actually really intend to um, make the AE systems. Because again, I don't start off small with those. I usually start big. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to hang on to those diamonds. Because of that, I still need a way to get obsidian. The next best way to do this uh, which is going to probably be fairly easy, to be honest, is to do Tinker's Construct. Uh, Tinker's Construct adds a whole bunch of things I can do. Basically, the first thing, primarily, is that I can make a pickaxe that can mine diamond, or that I can mine obsidian, rather, using one diamond. So that is quite important to me at the moment which is why I'm going to start making the Tinker's tools while I'm sitting here waiting for those to smelt up. And then I believe the last one is this. Whoop! There we go. Okay. And I've got the, obviously I've got the crafting station right there. Uh, I'm gonna put these just over here for right now. Oh! I know what I forgot. Hang on a second. I forgot the pattern chest. There we go. Okay, 
So that's one, two, three, four. So I'll put them right here for right now. Uh, let's see. Stencil table creates stencils. Part builder builds the parts from the stencils. And the tool station puts all the stuff together. So I believe that means the pattern chest needs to go here. Yes, there we go. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, t -t 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 -t. So what I need first is I need... I don't know if I should make a hammer or if I should make... I've got enough resources to make a hammer, honestly, probably. Let's see what metals I have to make a hammer. I have... I have osmium. I don't... I have steel. That's fairly good. For starters, at least. Hmm. I have bronze. I wonder if I can make this into liquid. I seriously doubt it, but... No, I can't. That's a shame. Oh well, that's okay. You know what, though? I do have enough iron and enough manganese to make some more steel. So maybe I will make a steel hammer in that case. And the nice thing about Tinker's Construct is, is that I have an add-on that allows me to use the Metallurgy 3 um, dusts inside of the smeltery. So I can double my ores using my nice shiny pulverizers over here, which it looks like they've stopped. There we go. And then I can just throw the dusts into the smeltery. The smeltery does not double the ores again. Okay, I just want to make that perfectly clear. This is not like a ridiculous crazy ore doubling system of doom. This is not what I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah, what I am doing is I'm just being able to use the dusts inside the smeltery, which is nice. Um, you know what? Screw it. I am going to make a hammer. I have, I think I have enough steel. Hang on a second. I have doo -doo 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 -doo, 52 steel. So if I pull up a little calculator here for a second, give me a moment. I know it's uh, 8 for the head, then 8 and 8 for the two plates you need on the side. So that's another 16. Then I believe it's 3 for the tough tool binding. That's 27. Let me double check on the tough tool binding should be here some or not the tough tool binding I'm sorry the um tough tool pattern yeah it is okay so we got that uh do, 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 the plate uh I'll make that eventually probably not right now I I will make that eventually uh let's see hammerhead there we go okay I think that's all I need now I do actually have to do this for a second I have to take this guy and I've got to make it into the, you know what, I've got a ton of this, I'll use this. I wonder if I can, I can make this fancy, I can actually use a lot of these different metals here to upgrade this table, but um, uh, yeah, see I can use gold blocks, I can use emerald blocks, diamond blocks, a whole bunch of stuff, but unfortunately I don't really... Oh, you can use a block of aluminum. That makes a nice looking table. Oh my god, you can use alamite. That you can make a pink tool forge. <laughs> That's hilariously awesome. Okay, I need some seared bricks on the top of this. I want to upgrade this because that's the only way I'm going to be able to actually get... Uh, let's put this in pre-constructed. That's the only way I'm actually going to be able to get the... Um, there we go. Hammer. The ability to make the hammer. There we go. If I can form coherent sentences this evening. That used a lot of my iron right there. That's alright. Just smelt a buttload more. That's a little much. Come on. There we go. Alright. We'll just leave this smelting for right now. Nope. Drop it in there. Nope. Nope. Oh gosh. There we go. Alright throw that in there. Okay, now we can upgrade this sucker. I only need three across the top, and then the four blocks of steel. And boom! Tool forge. Yeah, this is the only way that you can actually make the hammer. It expands all the things over here. All the things that I can make. There we go. 
All right, hammer. So I need two plates, a head, and a tough tool rod. Yep. Okay. I also need some stone to make the initial pieces. Uh, I will make the excavator head while I'm at it. Let's see what I got here. Whoop, go back in there. I need a head. Uh, I need the plate. And the tough tool rod. Cool. Alright, there we go. Um, I mean, I'll probably end up using this later down the road anyway. So it's not a terrible thing that I have started doing the stuff to make the smeltery. Uh, honestly, I will probably be using it very soon. Uh, I wish I had two more orichalium dust. I could use that for the pickaxe or for the hammerhead. Uh, Promethium and zinc. Ugh. All right. Do not want to use Promethium. I mean, I got steel. I just I'd rather use orichalium. Maybe I'll hunt around for a little while, depending on how long this episode goes for. I might hunt around for a little while. And, uh, okay, so I need to put, I need to make the essential smeltery pieces. Actually, I'm going to make two of these at least. I'm going to make two drains. Okay, smeltery drains. Uh, let's see, that means I need two casting tables. Actually, I'm going to make one casting table and one casting basin. Oops, did that wrong. Uh, let's see, actually, technically did that right. There we go. I need smeltery controller. I need... where's my glass? Oh, I have forgot one vital component. <laughs> I need lava. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go hunting for some lava. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Whoa, that did not turn out evenly. There we go. I think I need at least 20 for the basic smeltery. Or, well, my version of the basic smeltery. The basic smeltery, technically, you could just do a one block high structure. You're not going to be able to smelt anything for shit. I mean, you're going to have like nine slots to add items. It's not enough for me, in my opinion. Whoa. Hello, door. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I actually didn't put that sign on there. So I'm actually going to stick. Well, it doesn't matter at this point. I have all the junk in my inventory. I think I know what I'm up to. What about you? Um, let's find a place to put this sucker. It's not terribly in the way. Uh, what I'm thinking is maybe right over here. I'm going to put it outside for right now. However, in the long run, I'm going to uh, build a nice structure around this. I want to make it look nice. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, next level. Gonna stick my two drains on. Stick the two faucets on. I'll probably, you know, if, I've got enough. I could probably throw another one on here and it wouldn't be a crisis. There we go. Drain. And a faucet. Go, come on. There we go. Okay. So I may have went a little overboard making grout, but better to have more than not enough. And I'd much rather start with a large smeltery than a small one. Oops, I almost forgot. Gotta make this the bricks as well. Come on. Da -da 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 -da. Boop. No, come on. There we go. This is probably too many, but... Like I said, I'd rather make the smeltery big to start with. If I'm going to use it, oops, I'm going to make sure that it's big enough to actually be fairly useful. Not to say that small smelteries aren't useful. Uh, I don't find them personally useful. It doesn't mean that it's not good for you or, you know, what not. Um, Alright, so I've got the casting basin casting table. I'm going to make one more table and make a couple more bricks, and then I should be good for a little while. Do, 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 do. Table. And then a couple more bricks. Uh, actually, I may as well just use the rest of these. Actually, uh, that might even be exactly the amount that I kind of need. Oh, you know what I do have to do? Uh, let's see here. Um... 
I do not remember the ratio to make aluminum. Oh, I can do that. I don't have to put it in the smeltery and combine it. That'd be fantastic. Okay, it's a three to one ratio. Awesome. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, cool. And this is more than enough. I can put this back in there. I'm not sure why I still have it in my inventory. I need to change the color on that aluminum brass. It doesn't really look right. Alright, there we go. And one, two, three, four. Well, oh, got one extra. That's alright. No big deal. Stick it. I don't know. Come on. Yeah, sure. Why the heck not? There. Alright, there we go. So now, there we go. Nice big smeltery. I just need some lava. Um, what I'm probably going to do is... Where'd my buckets go? I think I used my buckets to build some of those machines over there. No, oh, there's one. I'd like to get more buckets. You know what I'd like to get? Portable tank. Is that the... Here it is. Glass and copper. Easiest thing on the planet. So convenient. Much wow. All right. And then I can upgrade this to a hardened one, which holds a little bit more. Not a terrible amount more, but a little bit more. I think I need... Yeah, just invar for that one. Oh, I guess I just could have done the whole entire recipe. Whatever. What do I need for the reinforced one? Okay, I need reinforced glass, which means I need crushed obsidian. Can't get that quite yet. Alright, so I've got the portable tank. I'm trying to think of how I can do this. There's an interesting one. Well, no, you know what? That's fine. I'll just put the hardened tank next to the lava and then just pick up the lava. Alright, so uh, I'm going to go to sleep really quick and then we're going to take a journey to the volcano and uh, grab some of the lava that's all the way at the bottom of the volcano. Alright, so now you guys actually get to see where this is because I don't think you got to see it before. It's quite a ways out, but it shouldn't take me very long to get there at all. If it looks like it might take me a little while, I might just pause this and go, but it's only about 200 meters from here, and I'm closing in on it pretty quickly. Hello, Mr. Grieber. Dying of fire. Or an explosion. That works, too. Alright. Almost there. Mmm, peaches. I think those are peaches. Oh, no, you know what? Those are Pam's Harvest Craft uh, plums. That's what they are. Um, you might notice that when I've been mining, I've been leaving these. Uh, that's because I know I need a boatload of them for Thalmcraft. And I want to wait until I have a pickaxe with uh, luck on it. Or a fortune, either way really. Uh, before I start picking those up. So either I'm going to make a hammer and I'm going to throw the luck on it. Or, I don't know, I'm going to do something to it. This is not the entrance that I used before. Oh dear, my graphics are just kind of like... We can't render this much while you're recording. What are you trying to do, you crazy person? There we go. I think the entrance that I left myself is somewhere over here. I like left myself a hole in the side of the mountain. Here it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah, awesome volcano of awesomeness. You can see it pretty clearly on the map. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't find another one, but yeah. Oh, what? What? Hang on. Oh, gotta go up. That's why. Uh, I forgot. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna mark that so that I don't get confused again next time. And then I'll just put one there. Don't really need it, but that's okay. Alright, so yeah, welcome to the inside of the volcano. That is what I'm gonna drain down there. Not completely, obviously, but uh, pretty well. Uh, so yeah, I made myself a whole bunch of little steps last time I came to over here. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fill that up because knowing me, I'm just going to go full throttle down those stairs and land right in that thing. Oh god, like I almost just jumped into that big hole. 
So uh, it's just going to take me a second to get to the bottom here. I've pretty much cleared out all the monsters at this point. There's really nothing left. I, de I destroyed all the spawners. There's that diamond. I was looking for that the other day. I was in here and I know I saw it. And I'm just going to snag it really quick before I forget it again. Because I need it for, um, for the... Uh, there you are. There. I'm going to grab the lapis too. Because that will help me put luck on my Tinker's Construct tools. Um, yeah, I'm going to need it for the... Brainstormed. Um, oh, AE system storage cells, yeah. I'd eventually like to make some liquid storage cells too, so I'm going to need a whole bunch of stuff. Just tons and tons of stuff. I apparently left a couple monsters up. I see a whole bunch of dwarves on the bottom floor, and there's another diamond. How did I miss these? I don't want to lose that in there. But I know if I do something kind of stupid. Yeah, bear with me. I'm going to do something kind of stupid. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Oh, wow. Okay. I hate lava mechanics. There we go. Diamond acquired. Oh, shit. Is that another diamond? Wow, I really, like, missed the boat on this one. I apologize. Holy crap. I really was not paying attention when I was in here last time. And now I feel, I don't know, kind of bad, but I'm glad you got to see it at the same time. Eh, whatever. Alright. Well, I have three more diamonds than what I started with. That's cool. But this episode is almost over. So let me, come on, dash, dash. There we go. Dash to the bottom here. Um, yeah, this lava is, uh, or this volcano is huge, and it goes all the way down to bedrock, which is kind of awesome. Oh yeah, I definitely did leave some spawners up. That's okay. Those guys shouldn't be, shouldn't bother me. I'm going over here, and I'm just scooping this lava into this thing. They only aggro when you get really close to them, so I think as long as I stay over here, I'll be fine. And I'm just gonna take all the lava. So, um, yeah, pretty fruitful episode so far. I managed to get my smeltery constructed. I'm stealing the lava from this chocolate dungeon, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, overall, I'd say this is a pretty good episode, and I got an extra bottle of, uh, or I got an extra thing. Alright, I'm gonna take this home, I'm gonna dump it into my smeltery, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, uh, I will have a hammer next time you come, and then I'll be able to get some obsidian. I do know where there is some, and if all else fails, honest to god, I could probably turn some of this into obsidian, and it would not be a huge loss. Uh, so yeah, I will definitely, um, if I can't find the natural obsidian, I'll just come down here and make some, and then I'll bring the hammer back and whack it for a little while and, uh, grab it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, do be sure to like and subscribe. There will be lots more of the Magitech Mod Pack, and I'm hoping to record some more of the RPG Mod Pack as well. Um, once I have the time. Ooh, you have an enchanted bow. Gimme. Didn't drop it, huh? Dick. Oh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so be sure to join me next time, and I'll see you later. I gotta get out of here safely. <laughs>